Hi everybody, my name is Lloyd H. Miller and I want to talk to you about my brand new series of albums, Sing Along History. Now those of you who know me know that I've been doing educational music for a long time. I've led the group the Deedle Deedle Dees for over 10 years, I've performed a lot as a solo artist, and I'm probably best known for my songs inspired by stories from history. Um, I'm often written up as history rocker Lloyd H. Miller, or history rocker is the Deedle Deedle Dees, and that's true, but you know, I've also written a lot of songs inspired by science, and folklore, and literature, and other classroom topics, and this is all just to say that educational music is something that's very close to my heart, and it's something I've been doing for a while, and it's something that I feel like I've got a small level of expertise in doing. Um, most of the songs that I've written, especially in the last five to seven years, have been songs that have grown out of my experiences working with kids in real classrooms across the country. Um, I often hear parents and educators talk about the other media in their kids' life. They talk about video games, or they talk about videos they watch online, or they talk about superhero movies, and they say, you know, why is my kid more interested in this stuff than they are in their studies? What I try to do is I try to find that point where stories from history or other topics in their classroom are as exciting as that other stuff in their life. And I don't have a problem with that other stuff. I don't have a problem with, with movies, with video games, with any of it. But I think that stories from history and um, topics in science and um, stories from literature are just as good. I actually think they're much better than the stuff that's out there in other media. And so I just try to find a way to make it just as exciting for kids. And so with the Deedle Deedle Dees, I've done that for a while and I've done that as a solo artist. Now with Sing Along History, I'm continuing to do it. And you might be saying, well, why are you saying that it's a new series if you're just continuing the same thing you've been doing? Well, here's how Sing Along History is different. Sing Along History is a series of albums that are organized thematically. In the past, with the Deedle Deedle Dees and on my own, I've just put together albums full of songs that I've written that, about things that interested me, but I haven't really worried about theme. I've just put things together Together mainly musically, things that I thought fit together and that we could play together well as a band. Now, I'm trying to organize things better to make things easier for you as educators, as parents, as kids, to sort of organize a little unit of study where you can access a new um, topic via the songs. So the first volume of Sing Along History is called Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. And it is a collection of songs that all have to do with the Civil War era. Um, there are songs that are actually about the Civil War, there are Underground Railroad songs, there are songs about abolitionism. Um, about half the songs are actually from the 1800s. There are songs that soldiers sang, songs that people sang at home, um, songs that were marching songs, Underground Railroad songs. Then the other half of the album is songs that I wrote, inspired by some of my favorite stories of the time. Um, I really am excited for you to hear this album, Sing Along History Volume 1, Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. In just a second, I'm going to play a song from it. Um, but I want to tell you just a little bit more about the album and about the series. Sing Along History Volume 1 and all the albums that follow will have a lot of supplementary materials. This is the other thing that sets apart Sing Along History from stuff I've done in the past. In the past, I've always put lesson plans and reading lists online and made them available to teachers. And I've actually written a lot of lesson plans and made up reading lists and other stuff with educators. But now it's all going to be organized in these nice packets. Glory, Glory, Hallelujah has a full curriculum guide that is going to be available on my website, LloydHMiller.com, for you to download and check out and comment on and tell me how you use it in your classroom and we'll continue to adapt it. Um, the curriculum guide has lyrics, lesson plans, reading lists, suggestions for further study um, via movies, via websites. And so you can just kind of, as an educator or a parent or a kid, you can just kind of dive in and use the music as a starting point for like a whole study of a new topic. The first album is about the Civil War. The second album is going to be all about incredible feats. And that album is going to come out in a few months. The Civil War album is coming out now. Now is April 2015. That's when I'm making this video. The next album, which is all about incredible feats, such as Diana Nyad's Big Swim, Houdini's Escapes, Tenzing Norgay, and Matthew Henson and other explorers, female astronauts like Valentina Tereshkova and Mae Jemison and Sally Ride, all sorts of people who did things that are like hard to believe they even did them as human beings. That album, it's the next Deedle Deedle Dees album, the first Deedle Deedle Dees album since 2011. That's coming out fall 2015. That will also have all this great supplementary material, videos, reading lists, etc. Um, do you get the idea of it? It's, yeah, it's just like this collection of albums that, you know, helps you, you know, find your way into a historical topic, tries to make it a little less intimidating, and makes it fun. 
Oh, everybody, pull your knees up to your chest. We're gonna go for a ride in a box, like Henry Box Brown. A one, two, three, four. Henry Box Brown, he put himself in a box, mailed himself to freedom in the north. Ooh, 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 ooh. Henry Box Brown becomes a bump, this side up, Philadelphia bound. Oh, we try to get to freedom. In a box. They sold his wife and kids away. That's when he started planning his escape. So it was in the town of Richmond, VA. Where a sympathetic tobacconist helped Henry Box Brown escape to the abolitionist. Shake your whole body cause the road's getting rocky. Go. Oh. Henry Box Brown always sealed himself in a box. Mailed himself to freedom in the north. Ooh, 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 ooh. Henry Box Brown, here comes a bump. This side up, Philadelphia found. Oh, he tried to get the freedom in a box. DC, they threw him on his head. Everybody rub your head and say, ow. He thought he broke his neck. Rub your neck and go, ah. But he ended up right side up. Everybody point up. For the wagon ride from DC to Philadelphia. Ow. Are you guys ready for the human trumpet? I said, are you guys ready for the human trumpet? Okay, here we go. Round of applause. Yeah. Thank you. Now repeat after me. Sing this side up. This side up. This side up. This side up. Go low. This side up. Go high. This side up. Say this side up. A one, two, three, and Henry Fox Brown always oh, sealed himself in a box, mailed himself to freedom in the north. Ooh, 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 ooh. Henry Fox Brown, here comes a bomb. This side of Philadelphia found a try to get the freedom in a box. He tried to get the freedom in a box.